I'll be showing you how you can create TikTok ads for your Shopify store so you can use TikTok to advertise your product. Overall, it's an extremely popular platform and a lot of merchants have been getting really good return on ad spend using TikTok, but this is all gonna depend on your audience. Being said, I'll go through step-by-step step how you can start creating TikTok campaigns and reaching a different demographic. So if you enjoy any of this content along the way, I would love it so much if you hit that like and smash that subscribe button below. So let's start off here. I'm gonna assume already that you have a TikTok ad account set up and that you've gone through the setup sequence. If not, I would do that first and then come back to this page here. So this is the overall dashboard. It's gonna give you a summary of the metrics you've spent so far. So if I go to the last seven days, I have not spent anything, but if I go to the last month, you can see analytics on how much you spent, the different campaign names, as well as just some overall analytics. Overall, this isn't the most useful thing here. Rather, we wanna dive into campaign on the top, and then we're gonna get more analytics on what you can customize in terms of the columns, as well as the ability to create different campaigns. If you wanna customize the columns, you can head here, and then hit to customize the column. But the purpose of this video is to create a campaign. So let's do that now. So what you wanna do is go to the create button in the left here, and let's go to custom mode. This is gonna give us more detailed control on what we wanna set up. So something to note overall about TikTok is that the general recommendation is to go small on Audiences, whereas Facebook is larger audiences, if their algorithms aren't going to be as good as buying purchases for your product, so you'll be very detailed in your audiences here. So let's start by just doing a creative, or sorry, create new campaign here. And so overall, first you have to select your advertising objective. And so what you should be going for is website conversions, as we can then focus it on our purchase conversion. Now I have another video on how to set up your TikTok pixel. I'll link this in the description as well, and I'll try to put the timestamp up. So hopefully that shows up. Okay. Again. If you haven't done that, go do that first, then come back to this step. So once we hit website conversions, it's gonna ask us to create a campaign name. I'm just gonna call this Ecom Masterclass here, but I would give it a name relevant to your product and maybe the audience you're targeting. This is just for your own purposes. No one else is gonna see this, but can help make it easy to distinguish what this campaign was about. I'm not gonna do any campaign budget optimization or split testing for now. I'll just hit continue. Next, you get to set the ad group name. It's often just easiest if you list the audience and maybe the title of the campaign as well. I'll just put Ecom Masterclass for now. So in terms of the pixel, you can select which TikTok pixel you're looking to add. Then you can select the optimization event. So I'm gonna put complete payment as well. So this will be the purchase conversion. I'm gonna take a second here to thank our sponsor, ProfitCalc, the one-click profit calculator available for your Shopify store. All you have to do is select the date range you're looking for to get real-time calculations so you can understand the true profit of your business as well as get a variety of different analytics on how it's performing to help you make better business decisions. It's going to sync seamlessly with all your different ad accounts as well as your cost of goods sold methods and transaction fees as well as other expenses, making it super easy to get everything in one place making it possible to visualize your performance over time. There's a link in the description below to the Shopify app listing. You can also search Profit Calc and look for this logo in the top left here to find it in the Shopify app store, both of which get you access to a 15 day free trial so you can test drive everything for yourself. So in terms of placements, it's gonna depend here. Could do some testing, but I would just stick to TikTok itself. Pangle, I believe, is similar to Facebook's audience network, just giving you more options to publish your videos. In terms of advanced settings, you can set whether users can download the video, share it, or comment. I'll just leave all of these checked for now. You also get the option to set the creative type. So this allows for automated creative optimization and it's gonna show the best combination to maximize result. Now, this is gonna depend on your budget, I'd say. You'd wanna give it an adequate budget to test it out. So I'll just leave this unchecked for now. So in terms of targeting, I'll go to custom targeting here. This is a brand new pixel and really doesn't have a lot of data in it. So in terms of locations, TikTok isn't gonna have as many here. I'll just select United States as well. In terms of languages, just leave this as is, as Canada, United States, the primary language will be English. So you do get customization on the gender, and the age demographic you're looking to target. You can also target multiple different age demographics, possibly leaving out 13 to 17 and 55 plus. You can also set the household income for top 10%, top 10 to 25, and so on. And this looks to be for the US only. The next is gonna be your audiences. These are gonna be any existing audiences you have. So you can have different custom audiences you've set up or different lookalike audiences you've created off those. So if you're doing a retargeting campaign, you would set up a custom audience to retarget visitors that have visited your page in X amount of time. Next, we'll head into interest and behaviors. So this one is gonna where you're gonna put your targeting options, especially if this is a new ad set and you're not targeting an existing audience. And so you get several different options. One is to add different general interests. These ones are gonna be pretty broad. If you're used to Facebook ad manager, they're gonna be much broader than Facebook. We'll see things such as golf, tennis, soccer, different sports here. You can see different apps such as 
social, photography, appliances, e-commerce, household pets. It's really gonna depend what audience you're trying to target here. You can also set a purchase intention so you can see different interests and maybe they're looking for different pet products or pet food. This will help give you targeting options. The key with this, such as any other ad platform, it's all gonna be about testing here to see which audiences resonates with your offer and your ad. Next, you get video actions, so people who have carried out actions with different videos. I've never used this one before. You also see different creative or creator actions here, so who they followed or interacted with. It gives you overall categories such as romance, society, family, and so on. So again, very specific to what you're looking for in terms of the audience you're trying to target. Lastly, you have hashtags. So you can search different hashtags here. You're not gonna have every hashtag you've ever seen, but let's say you're targeting drop shippers. You can then see different tags such as drop shipping, drop shipping tools, drop shipping Brazil, drop shipping secrets. And as you start different options here, you can see the audience sizes in the top left. So next you can see device targeting. So you can set up whether you wanna target different platforms. Maybe you have an app that's only available on iOS, although not really relevant if you're selling physical products. Next you have targeting expansion. And so this will just expand your targeting if it thinks that it can find more conversions there. I'll just leave this ticked off for now. Next is gonna be the daily budget. So how much do you wanna spend per day? TikTok is gonna have a higher minimum here as I believe in Canadian dollars, you need to spend at least $20 a day for your ad account ad group to be active. Next for a schedule here, it's generally recommended that you schedule it for the next day starting at midnight or 12 a.m as it's gonna have the full day then to spend the budget when necessary. For bidding and optimization, I'll just leave this as conversion with lowest cost here, keeping things nice and simple. Next, I'll click into the ad creative. It's gonna be laid out very similar to other different PPC platforms where you can have your campaign, your ad group, and then your ad. In terms of the ad creative, you can also use existing TikTok posts that you may have created. To do so, you need to link it to your TikTok ads manager. Then you wanna hit use TikTok account, deliver Spark ads. Then you can see your linked TikTok account show up and then you can select a specific post. In terms of creating the ads, they're gonna to have to be video formatted and you wanna make sure it's gonna match TikTok viewing size. So that's something important to note as well. I'll add a video here. This is one I created before. Then in terms of text, you can say something between one and 100 characters and you're not allowed to use emojis. So I might just say 50% off for a limited time or just something along those lines. Next, you get to set the website you want anyone who's clicked through to go to, so you can enter your URL here. And that's pretty much it for setting up your TikTok app. As once you're done here, this is already filled out here as you get additional tracking for different app events or third-party tracking settings, but this is optional. So once you're done, just hit submit here and that will submit your ad for approval. If approved, you will begin spending shortly after or depending when you set the campaign to start. So in a nutshell, that's how you create your TikTok campaigns. Something important to note is that you wanna have your pixels set up to track purchases correctly. Is you wanna be tracking which campaigns are the most profitable as typically return on ad spend is the metric you're looking at as you wanna make sure these campaigns are profitable overall. It's a very important part when you're testing different creatives and different targeting, you wanna keep the ones that are the most profitable. Before I go, I wanna mention Profit Calc one more time, the one-click profit calculator available for your Shopify store. There's a link in the description below, or if you search Profit Calc in the Shopify app store, and look for this logo in the top left. You'll find it there as well. If you enjoyed the video, I would love it so much if you hit that like and subscribe button below as that really helps the channel out. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.